Hello everybody, welcome to part two of the November mail call in December of 2018. What a great month between Reno starting the uh, live streaming, Thanksgiving, just, uh, just a stellar month and I think December promises to be even more exciting. So let's get to part two of the uh, mail call here on a uh, chilly afternoon here on the Rancho. Will you be doing baking for the holidays? Yes, I think I will be doing uh, some baking streams, not just the teeny weeny bikini wins, but some other streams too. Uh, doing doing some dishes for the holidays. I think that'll be a lot of fun to um, to share them with you. So the answer is yes. Uh, how do you have the courage to do the things you do? I love watching, but I worry you'll be executed one day creeping around <laughs> your neighborhood. I know Missy Jen's laughing like a, like some gangland style execution, like I'm one of the Crips or the Bloods or somebody on the outs with the local Harley, uh, Harley Cycle Club. Look, guys, I have a real good sense of my surroundings and uh, my capabilities. So trust me when I tell you, yeah, I'll probably end up getting pepper spray or something like that, but I have very good sensibilities and a very good sense of, you know, having been city born and raised, I kind of know what the, uh, I know what the score is when I'm on the street, but thank you. Um, uh, let's see, Rosie, do you have any advice for keeping in shape and sticking to a diet? You make it seem easy. It's not, it's not so much easy. My biggest one piece of advice that I could give anybody when it comes to dieting and uh, wanting to really make a change is have something that occupies your mind. And it's been so great for me, whether it's exercise, you know I exercise, you know I do a lot of miles, I walk a lot of miles a week, I'm always doing something, I'm up and down like a jumping bean. But more importantly, when you have something to focus on, your mind is not on being hungry or something to eat. In my particular case, I chose the month of November to start rolling out the Streamlabs alternate platform for uh, doing in real life IRL streaming. And that has kept me super occupied every step along the way. Nothing has functioned as I would expect it to. I've had to learn a lot of uh, things, but it's been very satisfying to do that. But it's also taken my mind off of any hunger and then traveling and being out on the road and doing things like that. In other words, diversions, diversions, diversions. Things that you can do that uh, the time passes and you're not even aware uh, because your concentration's level so high that, uh, that you're even hungry. Take it upon yourself to do some community service, do some volunteer work somewhere, and engage heavily for that period. Don't just volunteer a couple hours a week. Make yourself available five days a week and be, be totally engaged in something. Be out, set yourself some endurance things, like if you're not used to walking or, or your weight is such that it's, uh, that it's problematic, start to reverse that. We don't acquire bad habits and get who we are overnight. It takes time. But people become very frustrated when the results aren't instantaneous, when they want to reverse the process. That's why diversions help very much. Get yourself some diversions. Um, let's see. Uh, do you feel people don't respect you because you're a tomboy in the trans community? Well, I'm not sure if it's, uh, you know, I don't, I never really think of myself in the trans community per se, because I think a lot of times people feel like that'll get them a pass or something in life. My goal when I got involved in doing my own style of transition was to integrate and not think about being in the trans community, but think about being in the bigger community at large and not, not what I call pulling a trans card, uh, but wanting to integrate and taking my lumps as they come along uh, in the uh, in the various communities. 
Now, some people may have perceived over time that that's turning your back on your community, blah, blah, blah. But let me tell you what. When it comes to transitioning and and taking yourself from male to female as far as you want to take it, it's a road that you have to go alone. And a lot of times, I hate to say this, we do a little too much hand-holding in life and uh, put down the uh, rose petals and the, and the carpet to, uh, to walk along on our delicate little feet when in reality we need, we need to be hardened like a piece of steel in real life and face what we're going to face for the future to establish that comfort zone to get that jacket of Kevlar, to get that jacket of Teflon, so we can move forward in life. So you have people within communities that uh, just don't like trans people, which is, which is their choice. You've got people that are jealous of uh, some trans people, which is their choice too. And you have some people, the great majority of people, that don't really care one way or the other. But the bottom line is, you can't let those things bother you in life. You can't be the kind of person to run away from uh, from adversity. You can't be the kind of person to to think that you're going to go out there and change people's minds. You change people's minds and hearts by living it, not talking about it. Okay, earning that quiet respect. Okay, endurance, endurance, endurance. Um, yeah. Uh, this person, this is the last, uh, okay, here we are, this is another one. Are you coming to Hawaii? I'd love to see you bouncing around the, uh, uh, beach. no, I think, I, I think that's for part three of the, uh, of the mail call there for Hawaii, but I think that's good. Um, yeah, that's a good note to leave on, that thing about, uh, as this person asked, uh, you know, I might be a tomboy, but that's the niche that I carve out for myself in the community. It's one I'm very comfortable. I can put on the dog and I can be dressed up and I can be I can be flaunting with the best of them. But it's fun to just be me and then as I always said before, the people that like you will stick with you. The people that don't like you, they'll either talk about you all the time, in which case they're still following you, or they just move on in life and they don't worry about it. But the day that you start giving other people control over your happiness is a day that you're going to be living your life as a robot in the hands of other people. And that ain't never going to happen to this uh, girl. Be genuine. Be real. Remember, you can keep up uh, being a phony for a week, a month, maybe even a year if you're some kind of miracle worker. But to keep on rolling on YouTube, going into year, finishing up, uh, you know, five, six years on here, it has been a true blessing. And you can only do that and accomplish it if you got great subscribers like you and an uh, inner sense of uh, an inner bearing and an inner compass that's made of steel. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for part three of the mail call tomorrow.